Hey, hello everybody, I am back. Ooh, foosball. A broken foosball table. Now I see why the loonies think this is a bar. Aw. You keep calling them loonies, but you're one of them too. Alrighty. There's only one choice available. Stinky drink. Man, this barkeeper has the worst chicken scratch since Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee had the tiger claw, Edna. No wonder you couldn't read it. <laughs> Does he say anything different? Barkeep? I'll be with you. Nope. Did he a- Don't! Hey, you. I'm Edna. Who are you? Hi, Edna. I'm Peter. Really? What parents call their child Peter? How old are you anyway? Nobody's named Peter nowadays. My, 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 my. What an exceptionally ugly name. I'd kill myself if I had a name like that. Uh, I mean, it isn't that bad. The name might be ugly, but it becomes you in a way. Yeah, you're one to talk. Does anybody name their child Edna these days? Why don't you ask your friend Hortense? Is there something wrong with you? Something wrong doesn't even begin to describe it. It's my 40th birthday today. Yet one more year, one more decade on the odometer. <sighs> my life really can't get much worse. You have a bipolar disorder, right? The doc calls it that, yeah. And what do you call it? I call it Peter. <laughs> Petra's having a surprise party for you in the bathroom. I know. Don't you want to go? I think she went out of her way to do it. Not even wild horses could drag me there. Why do you think I'm hiding here? Petra, with her constant high spirits, is more annoying than a bag of crab lice. At least crab lice keep their mouths shut. No, they don't. They bite people. Do you know a way out of here by any chance? There is no way out. Not out of this building. Not out of this skin of mine. Not out of this life. Jeez, you're depressing. I could try to cheer you up a little. You might as well try. I don't see how that could make things worse. At least, you've got your health. Still, the decline will happen inevitably. You might as well be happy that at least the machine is still ticking away satisfactorily. Because that's what the body basically is. Not much more than a machine. And every machine ends up this. in a junkyard eventually. Of course, there's a long phase where you try to keep it running. A little fix here, a little repair there, but still, it, it's inevitable. It's better to not even try. No machine is designed to last forever. And you need to recognize the point where it's merely a nuisance to all. Mm, I've lost a thread just now. What was I driving at? You wanted to cheer me up. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> Your problems are completely irrelevant in a cosmological context. To be more precise, you are irrelevant from a cosmological standpoint. I mean, what good does your existence do to anybody? And who will care when you don't exist anymore? Have you ever done anything that will leave a lasting Jesus. effect? What is there that will last anyway? <laughs> Nothing. Even the pyramids will crumble and fall eventually. In the end, all is futile, and all you ever struggled for, poof, just hot air. What I'm trying to say is... Uh... Well, what exactly? You wanted to cheer me up. Oh yeah, right. You are genuinely bad at this. It's a beautiful day and the sun is shining. Well, okay. That doesn't help you a great deal in here. You are locked up in here after all. So you can't share in all the great activities people can do on the outside. But maybe it helps to bear in mind that everyone else is having fun. Because unlike you, they can do whatever they please. And let's be honest here, they're probably happy that you're not with them. You're not exactly the life and soul of a party. Um... I've lost the thread just now. What was I driving at? You wanted to cheer me up. Oh yeah, 
Right. Are you trying for the Rufus Award? So, this man walks into the docks. Well, the man is approximately your age, so that's old. The doc says, Peter, you won't be around much longer. That wasn't the whole joke, was it? What joke? I only wanted to gently prepare you for what's coming soon. This is not exactly encouraging. Oh yeah, you're right. At Wait, least you're still alive. That doesn't go without saying no. at your age, you know? You're entering a phase in your life where the only way is down. The good times won't return. And you might as well forget about all the achievements you haven't made by now. You've missed that boat, Peter. From this point on, it's going to get permanently worse. Uh, I've lost the thread just now. You want to be oh, yourself. Yeah. I give up. You're simply too hard a nut to crack. Thanks for your help. Don't mention it. Too hard a nut or you just... I'd really, better leave really you alone fail. in your despair. Right. Why should anyone want to keep me company? You're right. I don't know either. Cut that out, please. I need the darkness, so I don't have to see the world around me. It depresses me. What doesn't depress you, dude? Ooh, this is so 80s. Alright. You're depressing. Real quick, I want to check something back through here. There's a spoon notice. This reads, Shortage of spoons! Bring your spoons back to the cafeteria! Uh, we need them to dig our way out of this hellhole. That wasn't where I was expecting to go, but hey. It'll do. Poetic and depressing at the same time. Fork? Oh, I guess by some language the hook for Hello? the phone is a fork. Is a no fork. operator. Which is really no surprise. The receiver is yeah. missing after all. We saw that guy in the other video with it. Empty. Bummer. That's where you put coins. So many possible phone numbers and so few fingers to dial them all. Somebody has swiped all the cushions from this sofa. Well, yeah, you can see them. They're in the rec room, making up Prince Adri King Adrian's house. This guy has the phone. Hello? 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 Ho hold on a second. Yes? Do you want anything in particular? You don't happen to know a way out of here, do you? No. But, but you don't want to get out of here, believe me. The world outside? is a cruel place. Mistakes you make out there have real consequences. You could lose millions of dollars. Let's say, only because you were distracted for ti tiny, a uh, little, ti tiny little moment. When your wife is shouting, look, Brucey, it's a boy, for example. That kind of guilt will haunt you for the rest of your life. Okay, you're in deck and you belong here. Can I borrow your telephone? Absolutely not! This phone is my lifeline! I don't dare think about what could happen if I was unavailable. Just imagine me putting that thing away for a minute! When my wife is shouting, Look, Brucey, it's a boy, for example! Or worse still, imagine, during that brief distraction, when I look over to my wife, my stock portfolio goes into freefall. I would lose millions because I hadn't been on the phone just for a tiny little 
instant, one moment of carelessness, and my whole life is in ruins. Oh, oh. You're no wolf. You're more the incontinent puppy of Wall Street. Can you get off the phone for a sec? Certainly not. That's my broker on the line. We're talking millions here. All right, fine then. Not really important. Jerk. Go on with your phone call. I was planning to do that anyway. Hello? You still there? Nobody likes you. All right. Why are you behind the TV? Hello. Hey, you don't have to hide from me. How can I be sure? You could be a Velociraptor in disguise. I'm Edna. I am Professor Nock. Pleased to meet you. What are you doing back there? I am doing research in the field of paleontology. Behind the armchair? Where else would I be? You won't find a prehistoric skeleton lying in the middle of the room. It would have been recovered a long time ago. That makes sense. <laughs> Are you one of those mad scientists? I beg your pardon? Who do you think you are? Oh, the use nowadays. They see a man with white hair crouching behind an armchair in an asylum, and they jump to the mad scientist stereotype at once. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to insult you. Do you know anything about Dr. Marcel? More no. than most. Okay. Did you know that he has a dark secret? I knew it! I knew it! Yes. He's breeding dino-human hybrids in his secret facility on Jupiter. This is what I get for no. talking to loonies. I didn't know that. Can I borrow your ticket for the laundry lift? Don't be preposterous. I can't do that. I've got to get to my Peruvian amber mines to recover dino DNA. That's too bad. How's research coming along? Uh, quite satisfactorily. The only things missing are a couple of dino genes for my secret breeding program, if you get my drift. That sounds exciting. How does one breed dinos? Oh, do come on. Everybody knows that. Oh, dinosaurs hatch from occlusions in amber. No, that's not even how Jurassic Park worked. How's research coming along? Oh, uh, quite satisfactory oh. for my... That's a... Oh, do... oh. I'll drop by again later. If the world still exists, then, is what you mean to say. Yeah. Give or take ten minutes. Stop that! I need to know how this ends! No. Stop that! I need to know how this ends! Me. Don't stop me now. Having a good time, having a good time. It seems to like the program. Of course it does! This is exactly on its level! I've always wondered if lamp designers are rejects from the International School of Ugly. This lamp is certainly proof of that. Stop that! I need to know how this ends! I don't know, I thought maybe turning on the light would do something. The artist must have suffered from severe depression. Depression or hand palsy? The only light they're getting comes from the TV set. Alright. Tempting. But I'm busy right now. Tempting. But I don't have the time to watch TV. Stop that! No, I didn't want to... didn't want to... there a look at. A dinosaur movie. I don't like dino movies. You know how they end. Everyone's extinct. Yeah, it's a dinosaur movie. It's just one dinosaur. On loop. Is that even a movie? There's someone crouching behind the armchair. Okay, hold on, that didn't do nothing. 
Hello, Professor. Attack of the pterosaurs! No. no, it's just you. Hello, a pterosaur. May I please change the channel? By no means. I need to know how this ends. The fate of mankind depends on it. The dinosaurs will seize world domination. Great. Now you've gone and told me the ending. But, to be honest, I already expected as much. It's a good thing I know the customs of the Jurassic. That will prove an advantage <laughs> when our new masters take over. Now, where did I put my fossil prayer stones? Mm -hmm, you can change the channel. I need to rehearse my future obeisance. Thank you. Welcome to the Stock Exchange News. This is about two things and two things only. Oh God! Buying so and selling. Great. Out of the frying pan and into the fire. Welcome to the Stock Exchange News. This is about two things and two things only. Buying and selling. <laughs> Glitch. I'll leave that on now. It's all trash anyway. Hello? Hello? Bye. W what's that? Bye? Bye. Bye? No, don't buy anymore. Stop buying. Stop buying. What's that? <laughs> <Phew>. <laughs> that was close. Hello? Hello? Sell. What's that? Sell. 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 Sell? Are you sure? Yes, sell now, quickly! Stop buying! Stop buying! What's that? Phew. Okay, there's some combination Hello? that will work. Ah. Buy! W what's that? Buy? No! Don't buy! Don't buy! Don't buy! What's that? Phew. Hello? Buy! What? Bye. 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 What did you recommend selling eventually? Look, Brucey, it's <laughs> a boy. What? What? Just a joke. A joke? Oh no! Not again! The phone call. Hello? You still there? What's that? What? Lost everything? Not again! All right. Taking it well. Later. <sighs> Didn't you want to make a phone call? Here, you can keep the phone. <sighs> Thank you. There's one more thing. <laughs> Leave me alone. I have to think about my miserable life. Okay, fine. Be that way. Didn't want to talk to you no more anyway. You empty hidden animal food trough wiper. One of these days I'm gonna remember I can't open the inventory with mouse wheel. What was that? Heck yeah. Hey! There's a coin in there! We're in the money, I'm in the money. We gotta know what it takes to get along. Alright. <clears throat> I never understood that song. Money doesn't really help people get along. I mean, I guess get along in life, but not get along with other people. Alright. This is Petra's bathroom. Here's the bar, which connects to the coffee machine. Well, indirect, eventually to the coffee Shut up. Alright. Do, 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 do. 
Don't stop me now. Having a good time, having a good time. Do 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 do. do. There we go. That coin slot's higher up than I thought. Can I even reach that? Mmm, coffee. Use. Now you can't even. Meh. Fine, be that way. See if I care. All right. Hey, didn't Bumblebee Man want coffee? Despite his allergy. Here, I've brought you a cup of coffee. How considerate of you. Earwax. Wax-like and amber-colored. Hmm. Fascinating. Interesting. But also stupid. What all do I have? Pinking shears. You can cut marvelous zigzag patterns with this. What the hell are pinking shears for, anyway? I'm not sure if I've ever known that. Alright. Ew. Cup of earwax. Seriously, that is nasty. Nasty beyond all belief. Here you go, here's some amber. I've got something for you. Oh, amber! Uh, from the Peruvian amber mines! Oh, what a shame. There's no occlusion in there. I can't use it for my dino breeding program this way. You can have it back. But please keep on searching. Not long from now, my army of dinosaurs will march the globe. <laughs> Hey, wait, I thought you said you weren't a mad scientist, you fibby boy. Fibbity gibbet. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and call it here. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, please like, comment, or subscribe. Or not, I'm not the boss of you. I don't tell you what to do. Good night.